Good morning, welcome to another What I Eat in a Day. It is just before 8 in the morning, about to go on my workout. Don't want to eat a big meal before the workout, so I just killed uh, two young coconuts here. Just drank the water, may save the meat for um, salad dressing later, I don't know, feed it to my dog, but for right now I just want the hydration, I want the water, going to go work out, and then knock back my first meal after that. So just got done my workout. If you want to see what I typically do on a workout, check out the video. I've got a link to down below here. And that's my typical calisthenics workout these days. Breakfast is going to be all this high water fruit blended up in a smoothie. So I'm going to peel the tangerines, peel the mangoes, peel the strawberries, throw it in a smoothie. Normally I like to eat you know, one or two fruits without blending them, but I'm on the go today. And I got a whole bunch of different fruit in my fridge. I want to make something a little fancy. Uh, I used to juice a lot of my oranges, but now I just like blending them in with the rest of my fruit. And I do high water fruit because that just digests the best in the morning. Really gets you rehydrated, especially after a workout. And just makes you feel the best because the digestive peristalsis isn't really kicking in full gear till about 10 o'clock. So for lunch, I'll have a denser meal. You'll see that. But for right now, it's high water fruit for the win. Going to make a 64 ounce smoothie here. So if this blends to less than uh, 64 ounces, might have to throw some more in. All right, so got our smoo here. It's basically going to pound this back while uh, banging on a few things on the computer. And of course, I peeled the tangerines and the mangoes, obviously. And um, yeah, it's a really nice combo. Um, but really, smoothie with any of these ingredients, all mangoes, all strawberries, or just eating a bowl of tangerines it would be just as good. Um, so, got a hot tip, pretty stoked. Uh, my friend Paula is going to let me raid her orange tree today. So we're just foraging oranges here. Squeezing for ripe ones, and when they're ripe, we're going to pick them. What if this tree's banging? Hope we get a bunch. Here's what we were able to get. It's probably about 30, 35 pounds worth. Still plenty on the tree. A lot of it's got to ripen up, but we'll be back. So, drove by this yoga place and found this tangelo tree. And I asked for permission. They said, oh, they're too sour. We don't like them. I took a taste and I thought they were fantastic. So I'm just raiding this tree. And this is one of those times I'm glad I have the clippers because if you don't have the clippers, you can try to pull this off, the tree, the stem comes with it, and then then you um, you kind of ruin the orange, you gotta eat it right away. So I'm really glad I got the clippers. So we're out here, Tuesday just foraged a taco, or a burrito of some kind. So I got my big bag of tangelos here. Look at that, beautiful. Tuesday's working on this burrito he found. So it's lunchtime, time for another smoothie. Got the last of the persimmon stash here. This is about, I got about a dozen left. There's half of them. And then just a uh, whole bunch of bananas. And we'll throw some water in the smoothie too, just to loosen it up a little bit. These are organic bananas. As you can see, some people might think that they're looking like they're going bad. They're brown and spotted. In fact, they could even stand to be a little bit riper. But this is, this is how you want to eat your bananas, guys, if you don't know already. Um, you want to be brown and spotted. That's when... Uh, it's going to be nutritionally optimal, things like tumor necrosis factor 10 are ready to go, anti-cancer. And um, they're going to be the sweetest, and they are going to be the most nutritious. I also have some frozen bananas just to make the smoothie uh, cold. So we'll mix all that up in the Vitamix, and probably another 64-ounce smooth coming at you. So here's the uh, finished product. Been already starting on this guy, but uh, it's probably like... 13, 1400 calories for the whole thing. I don't really keep track of calories that much anymore. I probably eat a little over 3,000 a day, but I don't really stick to any like target or try to like, you know, cram in extra calories or anything like that. I eat whole foods, you know, fruits and vegetables. I don't add any like coconut sugar or any powders of any kind, like superfood, this and that to my smoothies. I just eat straight up fruits and vegetables, you know, from the earth as is plain and simple, you know. There's no magic formula okay it's like the earth <laughs> humans have been on the earth for uh, hundreds of thousands of years and fruits and vegetables have always been there all these new man-made foods that they're coming out with like 
mango lemonade, superfood, fat burner. Like, seriously, that's all just it's marketing, you know? Like, fruits and vegetables is where it's at. Two ingredients, delicious, you know? If you want to make it complicated, make it complicated, but real health comes from, you know, simple food choices. Oh, hi. So, making dinner now. I'm at my girlfriend's place, and I just found out that her blender broke, and she didn't tell me, so I couldn't, like, bring my Vitamix. So I'm just kind of improvising, and I'm making this salad. I got, like, diced cucumber, diced celery, uh, and diced tomato. I'm just going to dice some mangoes in there, and then just mush it around. And so it's sort of like a salad, kind of mush bowl. I don't know what you want to call it, but... Alright, so now it's just like one giant bowl of mush. There's just like four ingredients. Four. Oh, I forgot to put bell peppers in here. Nah, it's okay. It's good like this. It's got mangoes, tomatoes, celery, and cucumber. And since I don't have like a blender, I'm just kind of mushing the, um, the uh, tomato and the mango. Just kind of make it kind of soupy. And uh, that's dinner. I don't know how many calories that is, I don't really count that kind of thing anymore, but got a good mix of sweet and savory. And uh, 